We're at the moment at the Julian Study Centre on the main campus of the University of East Anglia where our open forum is happening which is basically a forum for all of us to present our research findings to the general public. Very often they get just the information about research from newspapers. Here we, we give them really the evidence which we have found and they can really make their own judgement. The opportunity to find out the truth about things, to, to get the knowledge from the professional people, the professors and the, the um, clinicians. Finding out directly from the people who know what is the best way to do things and how you can be the most effective possible in helping the person you're caring for because that's one of the major problems is how, how you can be effectively helpful to somebody with dementia. There's a whole breadth of research at uh, UEA towards dementia. Part of it is diagnosing as early as possible dementia. The other part is much more the post-diagnostic support. So how do we help people who have actually dementia? And the third part is how do we help the families of the people who have dementia? What, what might it mean in the future? What can be done in the future? Um, I think it's a way of giving people um, hope and also um, valuing them research is generally around medication which we're all looking towards for, for a cure for dementia but what I like about the sessions here and the lectures are it often looks at other aspects which affect people's day-to-day -day lives which supports carers and people living with dementia. UEA for example they're doing some research on uh, the effect of, of diet on, on brain health and, uh, and you know if you if you eat the right things and avoid some other things and live healthily, then there's a significant reduction in the risk you'll, you'll get dementia in later life. Our research is really focused on diagnosing people as early as possible because now we know if you get a very early diagnosis, you can potentially reduce your risk by up to 30% to develop dementia. So it's really important that people get an early diagnosis because we know already what works to reduce your risk.